Hello my lovely people and welcome to your weekend guidance and this is for the weekend of the 14th and 15th of September. So right in the middle of September now here on the 14th of September we've got a beautiful powerful full moon in Pisces. Now full moons are about completions and endings and tying things off and finishing things up so that we can move forward. So very powerful weekend of shifting forward now. Now we're starting the weekend and I'm not surprised to see the four of swords which is the card of tiredness, sleep, rest. Now why? Um, I don't know if you're like me and many of you will be very much affected by the full moon. It always affects my sleep. I can never sleep very well on a full moon. I'm waking up a lot through the night for the day before, the day of and generally the day after and then it calms down but we can feel quite tired. And also this energy of this particular full moon has been about completing a cycle that you have, many of you, I feel all of you actually, she's correcting me, everybody has just worked so hard to get to where we are now. And we are feeling a little bit tired um, and drained. Now they're just telling me about this energy for the full moon. This is completing, they're telling me a three month cycle. Um, so we're going back to uh, July, August and early September where it's been a huge amount of clearing, cleansing, purging, changing, growth, all of that that we've done and this new, this full moon is finishing that off. So they're saying take some time this weekend to catch up with some rest and some sleep, some time for you. Do you notice the way the sword's there? are protecting her. Right? She's lying on one, or he he is lying on one. Um, yeah, there's the soldier there, battle-weary soldier, having a little bit of time out with the swords protecting while he's resting. So know that you're fully protected, know that you're completely safe, and that you can take some time for you to just catch up with you this weekend, okay? It brings everything back into balance. The yin-yang card is about balance. Um, the light and the dark, the shade, all of that, it's balance. So we're needing to just take some rest to allow everything to settle into that balance and then you're ready to go. Now, the Pisces energy is very spiritual and we've got here the temple path with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups can be love, romance, relationships, but I feel in this case, this is more about just loving that path that you're on, the temple path, the spiritual you that you've been connecting and reaching deeper within you and up to the universe. And you're, it strengthened your connection with yourself, what you want, who you are, where you're going, you're feeling that really strong relationship with yourself that you are loving your relationship with you with the universe with life and with this temple path we are moving more and more towards this beautiful peace and light and it's it's lovely so it's it's a completion this weekend is all about a completion now I'm asking about these cards here we've got the three of wands with deceit so the Three of Wands is a card of expansion, travel, um, wanting to get on that ship and, and dream about where you can go in the world and what you can achieve and what you can have. Now I'm asking about the Deceit card. What was he doing there, right? Are we deceiving ourselves about our dreams? Are our dreams perhaps a little bit unrealistic that we're so busy dreaming about what we can potentially achieve, we're not really focusing on what's going on right now? now and it's always the now that counts yes of course set your goals and dreams and dream big and why not but if we're putting all of our eggs in one basket for the future and we're not focusing on the now we are deceiving ourselves because we can't get there without us really focusing on what we need to do right now so have a look at that. Are we living a little bit? What's realistic and what's pie in the sky? Sometimes we can set those dreams and goals and what they're doing is this escapism from the reality. And escapism is lovely. It helps us to just get back into a good space to escape from our problems, the limitations, if difficulties. We can escape away from it and say, oh, it's all gonna be great, but we're not doing anything 
about what we're escaping from. So what we're trying to escape from stays. It's not being actioned. Does this make sense to you? I hope it does. So whilst what I'm saying here is that have your dreams. I have my dreams. But if I'm focusing my attention and spending hours in dreamland, escaping from the reality, I'm deceiving myself that I can just get that dream without having dealt with anything. So for example, you're in a relationship that isn't very happy and you dream constantly about it being beautiful and connected and lovely and you're not taking any action on the issues in the relationship because you just focus on how it could be. You're deceiving yourself. You need to take some action. Now, for some of you, and that can be with jobs as well, I'm going to get a fabulous job. I'm going to win the lottery. I'm going to move house. I'm going to go abroad, but I'm not doing anything about it. Then I'm deceiving myself. Okay, all dreams can absolutely be a reality, but they take action and work. So this is saying, have a look at that. Are we escaping um, using dreams as escapism, using our aspirations as escapism? For some of you, you are being deceived where somebody else is doing the escapism. Somebody else saying to you, oh, we can move abroad. Oh, we can do this and we can do that. And we absolutely can't. <laughs> we absolutely can't because we're not doing anything about it. So are you being deceived? Are you deceiving yourself in relation to that expansion? All right. So they're asking you to have a little look at that this weekend. Now we're ending the weekend with the Ace of Coins and the Angel of Balance. Look at these bookends balance and balance all right what they're trying to do here when i say they the universe the angels your inner self your higher self what they're trying to do is get you into balance and particularly around your money finances and security the ace of coins is a brand new beginning we've got that full moon that's completion now we can have this new beginning where we're feeling much more secure stable money starting to come in and definitely we're feeling this this uh, lightening of the purse strings, lightening of the pressures as we get past that full moon. And then we are really starting to get more and more into balance within ourself and in our life. The Ace of Coins can herald in a new job, a new fresh start in terms of money, new contracts, new um new clients coming your way, anything that is going to bring in new stability. And it is new. It's new. It's an ace. It's a new beginning. So this can be a new home, a new job, a new relationship, even particularly as we've got that two of cups there and you're getting that richness of that relationship with yourself. And that enables uh, a richness of relationships with others to come in. But don't forget to take some time for you. All right. So we've got some rest here needs. We need you to wake up and smell the roses, which is never easy, is it? But sometimes we do need a bit of reality check. You know, particularly the energy for the first couple of weeks in September has been about setting goals and manifesting. And that is important. And I've done that too, set my goals and set my dreams for what I want for the future. But I don't want to spend all my time living in the future. I have to live in the now. OK, so it's asking you to have a look at that. But at the same time, trusting a new beginning is now unfolding. OK, from the 15th, 16th onwards, this new beginning, bringing in new balance. Awesome weekend. Have a fantastic blessed weekend, my darlings. Coming up now is the attitude, gratitude affirmations. And I will see you next week for the weeklies. And look out if you're a Libra for the Libra birthday um, bonus reading coming up. And your October's readings will be up quite soon. All right, my darlings, you take care. Lots of love. I am so happy and grateful now that I can hand all my stresses and strains, challenges and difficulties over to the universe for resolution. I let go of all difficulties and step into ease. I am so happy and grateful now that I am releasing all that holds me back. I am so happy and grateful now that I am open to receiving all good things. I am so happy and grateful now that I am safe and I am secure. 
I am so grateful for the God, Goddess, Source energy within me and I know that I am manifesting and creating my beautiful life right now. I am so happy and grateful now that I see and notice the beauty in all things. I am so grateful now that I know and feel my own power to create. I am so grateful now that I flow with the ease and grace of the spirit within me. I am so happy and grateful now that I am connected to all the light and all the love within me. I feel my light and I know my power. I am so happy and grateful now that I am at peace, content and at ease. I am so happy and grateful now that I am having a blessed day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so happy and grateful now that I can hand all my stresses and strains, challenges and difficulties over to the universe for resolution. I let go of all difficulties and step into ease. I am so happy and grateful now that I am releasing all that holds me back. I am so happy and grateful now that I am open to receiving all good things. I am so happy and grateful now that I am safe and I am secure. I am so grateful for the God, Goddess, Source energy within me and I know that I am manifesting and creating my beautiful life right now. I am so happy and grateful now that I see and notice the beauty in all things. I am so grateful now that I know and feel my own power to create. I am so grateful now that I flow with the ease and grace of the spirit within me. I am so happy and grateful now that I am connected to all the light and all the love within me. I feel my light and I know my power. I am so happy and grateful now that I am at peace, content and at ease. I am so happy and grateful now that I am having a blessed day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so happy and grateful now that I can hand all my stresses and strains, challenges and difficulties over to the universe for resolution. I let go of all difficulties and step into ease. I am so happy and grateful now that I am releasing all that holds me back. I am so happy and grateful now that I am open to receiving all good things. I am so happy and grateful now that I am safe and I am secure. I am so grateful for the God, Goddess, Source energy within me and I know that I am manifesting and creating my beautiful life right now. I am so happy and grateful now that I see and notice the beauty in all things. I am so grateful now that I know and feel my own power to create. I am so grateful now that I flow with the ease and grace of the spirit within me. I am so happy and grateful now that I am connected to all the light and all the love within me. I feel my light and I know my power. I am so happy and grateful now that I am at peace, content and at ease. I am so happy and grateful now that I am having a blessed day. Thank you, thank you, thank you.